If you have played through all of Resident Evil 7 and the two banned footage DLC packages, you have probably noticed the same thing I did. All three of the new Clancy minigame tapes time codes do not seem to fit into the rest of the storyline of RE7. We have tape times that don't match, storyline points that are unanswered, and the story of Clancy Javis is quite confusing. So let's take a look at all the tapes featuring Clancy and try to figure out what is going on, what is canon, what the real timeline is, and what the heck happened to this poor cameraman out in Dolve, Louisiana in... Resident Evil 7. The original timeline connecting the demo, PR tapes, and the main game is all a perfect fit. Over the course of two and a half hours on June 1st, 2017, shown to us in four different VHS tapes, the Sewer Gators crew are all captured and killed by the Baker family. We see Andre die and Clancy get captured in the derelict house. We see Pete get captured in Get This Tape to the Media. We see Pete die in Kitchen. And finally, we see Clancy die in Happy Birthday, seemingly later confirmed by Ethan in the main game. A seamless timeline. And then, the DLC banned footage was released, and everything went to hell. Clancy is the main character in three of the BF VHS tapes, and all three of these tapes have time codes that take place after Clancy has died. So what happened? Was Clancy brought back to life with the infection slash serum? Maybe the burned body we saw wasn't him and he survived the burning alive. Or are these new tapes not part of the canon storyline? Daughters is, so why wouldn't these? If they are, then perhaps Capcom messed up in the planning of the DLC and will now claim the time codes on the video are meaningless after making them so perfect at first. But why put the time codes on the DLC tapes then? Mistake or telling us Clancy lived? If you throw out all the time code, the three new tapes all fit in. Maybe after the kitchen, Marguerite heals Clancy and keeps him captured in bed, in bedroom. When he escapes there, Jack finds him and locks him in the basement to fend off the mold in Nightmare. He survives but gets recaptured by Lucas who starts him off with a terrifying game of Blackjack in 21. And when he wins... We gon' play another game! You and me! And that other game is the Happy Birthday Room, where he dies. That timeline works pretty well, but it would be kind of a bummer if true. I thought Capcom was really clever for keeping a perfect timeline across multiple mediums, including a random PR stunt tape, but it appears that it was all busted to add some additional paid content. Perhaps the tapes aren't canon, perhaps they are. Either way, all we know right now is that Clancy is one tough SOB who will never give up in... Resident Evil 7 Crimson Army, what do you think is going on here? Non-canon DLC? Mislabeled tapes? Clancy being revived? Capcom mistakes? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe!